Hello class, and welcome to the review for test number three in Math 0028. The first question is going to be like in the homework, where it gives you a rational expression, say 7x over 3x plus 8, and you just want to do the domain. So what you can do is set the denominator to zero and solve for x. So we're going to subtract 18 from both sides and get 3x equals negative 18. When we subtract or divide by 3, we're going to get a negative 6. So the answer that you'll put is all real numbers except x equals negative 6, or all real numbers except negative 6. Because that's the only time that we can't have um, that of what we can put in for x where we would get 0 in the denominator. Then you're going to have one where you get something like x squared minus x minus 12 over x minus 4, and you have to solve when x is negative 4. So you're just going to put negative 4 in every time you see x. Make sure you put it in your parentheses because we're squaring it and we're also subtracting it. So we want to make sure that we have the right symbols or the right signs. So I have negative 4, the whole thing squared, minus negative 4 minus 12 over negative 4 minus 4. Negative 4 squared is 16 minus negative 4 becomes plus 4 minus 12. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. 16 plus 4 is 20 minus 8 or minus 12 is 8 over negative 8 which equals 1. Next we're going to be given something like 10 x to the 17, y to the 8, over 4, x to the 5, y to the 18, and we have to simplify. So if we simplify the four, 10 and the 4, we can divide both by 2 and get 5 over 2. We have x to the 17 over x to the 5, which means x to the 17 minus 5, which is x to the 12. And here, our y on the bottom is bigger than the one in the numerator. So we're going to say y stays in the denominator. 18 minus 8 is 10. The next question is going to be something like x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 12. So we do need to um, factor the bottom. When we do that, I'm going to put the x minus 4 on top in parentheses so we know that we can cancel. x squared minus x minus 12 factors to x minus 4 over x, or times x plus 3. We can cancel our x minus 4s, so we're left with 1 on top, x plus 3 on the bottom. Next, we're going to be given x squared plus 9x plus 20 over x squared minus 25. So we need to factor both of those. So our factors of 20 that add up to nine, are gonna be x plus five and x plus four divided by, we have a difference, two squares. So we're gonna have x plus five and x minus five. We can cancel the x plus fives and we're left with x plus 4 on top, x minus 5 on bottom, so x plus 4 over x minus 5. You may have to put parentheses around that using my open math. Next, we have 3x to the 13 times y to the 5 over 8x squared times y to the 3 over 14 x to the 5 y squared, and we need to simplify. So to do that, we're going to multiply across. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to have 3 x to the 13 still, and y to the 5 plus 3 is y to the 8. 8 times 14 is 112 x to the 2 times x to the 5 is x to the 7, and y squared. So 
So now we can simplify. We can't do anything with the numbers. We have x to the 13 on top, x to the 7 on bottom. So we're going to be left with x to the 6 on top, y8 on top, y squared on bottom. So we're left with y to the 6 on top. The next question is going to be something like x to the 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 3 or x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 3 over x minus 4. The only one that we can factor is this one. So we're going to factor it to be x plus 3, x minus 3. So now what we can simplify is we have an x minus 3 on top and bottom. We have an x plus 3 on both top and bottom. So all we're left with on top is 1, on bottom, x minus 4. The next question is the division. So we have x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 divided by x plus 3 over x or x minus 4 over x plus 3. So when we flip the second one, we have x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 times x plus 3 over x minus 4. In this situation, it's the same as the one before, but I'm still going to work it out. x squared minus 9 is x plus 3, x minus 3. We can cancel the x minus 3s, the x plus 3s. We're left with 1 over x minus 4. Next, we're going to have something like x plus y over 14 plus x plus y over 14. It's a common denominator, so we can just add the numerators. So we have x plus x is 2x, y plus y is plus 2y, all over 14. So now we can factor out a 2, and we'll have x plus y, and we still have a 14 on bottom. We can simplify the 2 and the 14, so we're left with x plus y on top, and 7 on bottom. Next, we'll have something like 1 over 20 plus 3 over 16. We need to find a um, common denominator here. And if we use 80, 20 goes into 80 four times. So we're going to multiply this by 4 over 4. 16 goes into 80 five times. So we're going to multiply by 5 over 5. We're going to get 4 over 80 plus 15 over 80, which equals 19 over 80. Next, we have 1 over 15 plus 19 over 25. The least common denominator for these two numbers is 75, so that's what I'm going to use. 15 goes into 75 five times, so we're going to multiply this by 5 over 5. 25 goes into 75 three times, so we're going to multiply that by 3 over 3. When I do that, I'm going to get 5 over 75 plus 3 times 19 is 57 over 75. When I add these two, I'm going to get 62 over 75. Next, let's say we have 6x over 4xy, 4x to the 4y plus 3y over 8xy to the 5. So we need common denominators. So we see that we have an 8 here and a 4 here. So we need to multiply this by 2 over 2. We also have x to the 4 here, x to the 1 here. So we need to multiply this one by x to the 3 
over x to the 3. So we can have this at 4. We have y to the 5 and just y. So this one needs another 4 y's. So y to the 4 over y to the 4. Now we're going to multiply 6x times 2y to the 4 is 12xy to the 4 over 8x to the 4y to the 5 plus 3y times x to the 3 is 3x to the 3y over 8x to the 4y to the 5. Now I have common denominators, so I can add the two numerators, 12x y to the 4 plus 3x to the 3y over 8x to the 4y to the 5. I don't have common, um, or I, they're not like terms, but I can factor out a 3, I can factor out an x, and I can factor out a y. And what I'm left with is 4y to the 3 plus x squared, and it's still all over 8x to the 4, y to the 5. Now I can cancel out this x with one of these, this y with one of these y's. I still have a 3, and I still have 4, y to the 3, plus x squared. I still have the 8, and it's 4 minus 1, x to the 3, y to the 5, divided by y, y to the 4. So the answer here would be 3 times 4 y to the 3 plus x squared all over 8 x to the 3 y to the 4. The next question is going to be something similar to 12 over x plus 8 minus 4 over or plus 4 over x minus 8. So we need to multiply the second one by x plus 8 over x plus 8. The first one by x minus 8 over x minus 8. When we do this, we're going to distribute the 12. So 12x minus 96 over x minus 8 x plus 8 plus 4x plus 32 over x minus 8, x plus 8. Now we can combine the two fractions. 12x minus 96 plus 4x plus 32 over x minus 8, x plus 8. And we can add 12x plus 4x is 16x minus 96 plus 32 is minus 64 all over x plus 8 x minus 8 we can factor out an 16 from both of these and we're going to get x minus 4 over x plus 8, x minus 8. And that's all we can do there. The next one is where we're going to solve for x. And we have x over x plus 8 minus 6 over x minus 4 equals 5x minus 104 over x squared plus 4x minus 32. So the first thing I need to do is factor this denominator because the other two are already factored. I'll just put it like this. And the factors are going to be x minus 8 or plus 8 and x minus 4. So now our common denominators are x plus 8 and x minus 4. But what I'm going to do since we're solving is get rid of all of our fractions. So I'm just going to multiply everything by the common denominator. 
So I'm going to multiply this by x plus 8, x minus 4. The second one by x plus 8, x minus 4. And the third one by x plus 8 and x minus 4. When I do that, these x plus 8s will cancel. These x minus 4s will cancel. These x plus 8s will cancel. And these x minus 4s will cancel. So I'm left with x times x minus 4 minus 6 times x plus 8 equals 5x minus 104. Now I need to distribute this x and this 6. So x squared minus 4x minus 6x minus 48 equals 5x minus 104. Combine like terms on this side, you get x squared minus 10x minus 48 equals 5x minus 104. Since I have an x squared term, I need to uh, move everything over to that side and set it to zero. So minus 5x from both sides and add 104 to both sides. When I do that, this side will be zero, which is what we want. We'll have an x squared minus 15x plus 56. Now I have to factor, and we're gonna get x minus, x minus, are two factors of 56 that add up to 15 are eight and seven. Now I set each to zero, x minus eight equals zero, x minus seven equals zero, so x can equal eight, x can equal seven. Neither one of those will cause the original to have zero in the denominator, so we can leave both of those as our answers. That's it for part one. Come back for part two.